Hey Yell. In this video, I'm going to step back into the CNC basics once again. And I'm doing this to answer some questions I've received from people whose machine orientation is a little different than conventional. Now, what I mean by that is the way their machine faces. Here's a photo of my Gatton CNC. And as you can see, the gantry rides along the y-axis from front to rear, moving towards me and away from me towards the back of my shop. This wasn't always the case. My first CNC was oriented the opposite direction so that my gantry moved back and forth on the x-axis. So things could be mistaken for being a little bit sideways. And the questions I'm getting is mainly from folks whose CNC runs in this direction. And that question is, when I have a project created, I have to run my machine the other direction, so my x-axis runs in a different direction than yours does. How do I rotate my project to get my x-axis to go this way instead of side to side this way? Well, the simple answer is you don't. And this is what's going to bring us back into the CNC basics. And that is the definition of the axes of the CNC machine. Now, this goes back to the definition of the word axis. And in a CNC context, it's the same as the definition in a mathematical context. And that is, it is a, a reference line used to calculate coordinates. And in a CNC environment, that's what we're using. We're using x and y coordinates. Now, this naming convention has been around for decades. If you look down here in the bottom of my software here in Aspire, you see I have x and y readouts. And as I move my cursor on the screen, when I move side to side in x, the numbers progress. And if I move up and down in y, the numbers progress. The thing to remember on a CNC router is, no matter which orientation you have, your x-axis will always move from side to side. Your y-axis will always move from front to rear. When you are standing in its normal operating position, if, like me, you stand in front of your machine when you mount material, load up your computer and run your g-code and your gantry moves towards you or away from you it doesn't matter the x-axis is always side to side the y-axis is always away from you and back towards you if on the other hand your machine is oriented the other way it doesn't matter the x-axis moves from side to side, and the y-axis moves away from you and towards you. In the case of when I was using this CNC here, I would mount the material down, and x stayed the same, y stayed the same. So back in my design software, there were no changes. X is always side to side. Y is always front to rear. Now, where this confusion came from is some folks calling the gantry, referring to the gantry as the x-axis. Well, an axis is not a physical, tangible item that you can lay your hands on. An axis is a line used to calculate coordinates. This is the gantry. It's not an x-axis. Now I'm not here to assign blame 
but a contributing factor is the laser folks. They refer to their gantries as their x-axis, no matter which direction they have their laser facing. Technically, that's incorrect. It's a gantry. It may move along the axis, but it's still a gantry. The x-axis is a reference line used for calculating coordinates. Same is true no matter if you're in a spire or you're in a CAD program. The origin remains the same. X will be side to side. Y will be away from you or towards you. The same holds true with graphics software. Even something as simple as paint that's in every Microsoft program. If you look at the bottom right corner here, or bottom left corner down here, even though X and Y never appear there, if I move from side to side, X increases faster than Y. If I move up and down, Y increases and decreases faster than X. This is the X axis. This is the Y axis. The same holds true in photo editing software. If you look down here towards this bottom corner, as I move my cursor around, I have X and Y coordinates in my imaging software. My point in all of this is don't confuse the gantry for the phrase x-axis. Now, I say I'm not blaming the laser guys because I have contributed to the problem as well. This is a photo from my website, my article, the CNC process for the absolute beginner. And I labeled this photo with x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. You could infer from this photo that this whole assembly here is called the x-axis. It isn't. This is the gantry. So, taking it back to the design software, whether you have your machine oriented to where your gantry moves along the x-axis, or your gantry moves along the y-axis. When it comes to designing in VCarve, Aspire, Cut 2D, Fusion 360, SolidWorks, it doesn't matter. Your x-axis will always run from side to side. Your y-axis will always run away from you and towards you. Just because your gantry runs in a different direction doesn't mean you need to turn this image at all. You don't need to rotate it. Unless you're trying to fit something on the bed of the machine that won't fit along one axis or the other. For instance, if this piece of material is too wide to fit on your machine in this orientation, you may have to rotate it. Here's the easy way to do that. The first thing I would do is get my design all set to the point to where I'm ready to go over and start calculating toolpaths. I would make sure my design is centered in my material. Hold down the control key, tap the letter A, come over here to align selected objects, and center my design in my material. With it still selected, I'll come over under Transform Objects to rotate selected objects. Click that icon, and I'm going to anchor the design from the center. I want to rotate absolute. I'm not spinning this relative to anything else. I want it to rotate absolutely around my X0, Y0. I'm going to set an angle of 90 degrees. Then I'm going to click Apply. 
that just rotated my entire design by 90 degrees based on my X0, Y0. I'll then close. Now I need to reorient my material. The only way to do that is to change it back up here in Job Setup. So I'll go back into Job Setup and it's just a simple matter of changing my width and height. What I'll do is just swap these two numbers here. So instead of being 24 wide in X, 11 high in Y, I'll make it 11 wide in X and 24 high in Y. Click OK. My entire design, to include my material, is now rotated 90 degrees and is ready for me to go over, start calculating toolpaths, preview them, then save G-code, go outside and start cutting on the machine. In summary, if your gantry is moving along the x-axis instead of along the y-axis when you're in the normal machine operating position you should not have to make any changes at all when you go to create a design in v-carve aspire cut 2d fusion 360 anything else if you should simply get your design finalized, rotate your design 90 degrees, rotate your material 90 degrees, even if that means going back into job setup and changing the uh, job size, then calculate your tool paths, preview them, generate your g-code, then go outside and cut your project. I hope those of you who were confused have gotten something out of this video. If you did, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Later today, at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific, I'll be hosting live Q&A session number 22, where we'll talk about the Axes naming conventions, anything I talked about in this video, or any of your other beginner CNC questions. Again, that's today at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific, here on my YouTube channel, and I'll put a link to that live Q&A session in the description box below. Now, that's a perfect excuse to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button, you'll get a notification the next time I post a video and the next time I go live. So I hope to see you this afternoon. But as usual, whether you subscribe to my channel or not, I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time to watch, and you all take care.